clap your hands and sing along with me How do you do, everybody, how do you do? How do you do, everybody, how do you do? Oh, you come to gym for fun and we'll get you on the run how Hi everyone, do, my name is Marlene and welcome to The Little Gym at Home. Today we are going to discover the importance of role play and role modeling and why it's so important in their early years development. When your little one grabs the hairbrush and turn it into a microphone or grab a tea towel and stick it on as a superhero cape, we are watching the emergence of representational thinking or as we know it, metaphors. This kind of role play helps the brain to transfer a what is into a what if. And so we open the gates into that imagination um, and magical thinking. Now today, there are so many amazing superheroes around us in our everyday lives, like the NHS and key workers. So let's teach our little ones to be really cool role models and superheroes. All superheroes assemble. Come and join me for a warm up. Run! Put a smile on your face. Don't you know that today we will be playing at the little gym? So come on, don't delay. Don't you know I cannot wait to be playing at the little 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 gym. Keep running. Oh, it really makes my day. How I wish that I could stay when we're playing at the little gym. It's the little gym way, and you know I cannot wait to be playing at the little playing at the little. Super Beasts, can you log roll by yourself? Oh, it really makes my day, how I wish that I could stay when we're playing at the little gym. It's the little gym way, and you know I cannot wait to be playing at the little, 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 playing at the little gym. Let's all pretend to fly. Reach up high, touch the sky, and forward roll. Put a smile on your face, don't you know that today we will be playing at the little gym. So come on, don't delay, don't you know I cannot wait to be playing at the little, 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 playing at the little gym. Hold your child upside down, either in your arms, or lay them on the floor, then pick them up carefully by their ankles. Gentle swings are fine, and then set them down gently. If your child doesn't like being upside down, just rock them in your arms and experiment with going a little bit upside down as you rock back and forth. Have fun! Oh, it really makes my day, how I wish that I could stay when we're playing at the little gym. It's the little gym way, and you know I cannot wait to be playing at the little, 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 playing at the little gym. Freeze! March and clap to the music! Put a smile on your face, don't you know that today we will be playing at the little gym? So come on, don't delay, don't you know I cannot wait to be playing at the little, 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 playing at the little gym. Run! Oh, it really makes my day, 
Now I wish that I could stay when we're playing at the little gym. It's the little gym way, and you know I cannot wait to be playing at the little, 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 playing at the little gym. Thank you for playing at the little gym. Hey all my superhero friends, me and Bear Wonder over here is going to show you a few tricks that you can practice with this chair. We're going to need two chairs for this set of exercises and these exercises will help us to build really strong core, hip flexors and back muscles so that we can really learn how to fly like superheroes. So please go and see if you can find two chairs. I'll wait over here with Bear Wonder. Right, so if you have your chairs, you can ask mommy and daddy to help you to move them so that they are shoulder width apart. Parents, this is really, really good for lots of weight bearing on my arms, lots of stabilization of my wrist, my elbow and my shoulder girdle. And although you see that we are balancing on our hands, what we see at the little gym is that we are helping our little ones with handwriting in two kinds of ways. I am working on my hand strength and dexterity of my fingers so I can help them to grab a pencil or to pick up food or whatever. The other thing that we're teaching us here is really strong core muscles. Look how my core is working as well as my hip flexors. We need really strong core and hip flexors to be able to sit on a school bench for long enough when we have to go back into school. That's usually the biggest problems for little ones. Their hip flexors aren't strong enough to get them through a whole day at school. So this is a lovely way to teach them how to have a really strong core and even stronger hip flexors. If I can do this little balancing in a static hold like this, I can pretend that I'm a superhero and I have to run really fast. Oh my gosh, how fast can I run? How fast can I run? Can we see if we encourage them to even run faster and faster with their legs? Ah! Just like that. This is again a really lovely way. If you do it with your little one, you will feel how hard your core is working, your hip flexors, and you can hear from me being out of breath. It's an amazing cardio workout as well. Once we've done a bit of static holds, a bit of running, why don't we try a few different gymnastic shapes? The first shape we like to teach our little ones is called a tuck shape. So I wanna pull my knees all the way up to my chest, like that. Okay, I will show you one more time. It is quite tricky. If you can, you can possibly support your little ones around their little waist from behind, not from the front. Come from behind, support their waist, and tell them to lift their knees to their nose. Right, let's have a little look. Can Marlene lift her knees to her nose? Oh, she just about can. That is called a tuck position. It's also when we sit in a little kind of ball, just like this. The next one we can practice is a pike. All these lovely body shapes that we need for all kinds of movements in life, but very much in gymnastics. A pike shape is gonna require an awful lot of core strength and upper body strength. I'm now gonna see if I can stretch over my legs. Ooh, look at my arm shaking, can you see? All the way over. Again, requires a lot of hamstring flexibility to be able to keep those little legs straight. If you wanna help them with this one, I suggest that you come from the side and encourage them and just hold their little bodies and under their ankles over there. I can see if I can grab Bear Wonder. If he's going to be standing here, you can say one, two, three, and we lift up those legs. And even if he doesn't quite yet weight bear on his arms, his body is learning that he can. And before you know it, when he sees two chairs, he's going to recognize, ah, oh, I can do this with my body. And so we open the world of new movements and imaginations with this one. After we've done the chairs like this, we can even see if we can just use one chair. If I have one chair, can I practice to put my feet on it? Like this. Now I wanna encourage you to see if your little ones can lift up one leg and wave to your foot. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna turn my body around and I lift it up to move and wave at my other foot. All of these crossing and lateral movements 
my body needs to know that there's two sides to it so that once when I know that I have two sides to my body I can start to cross my body as well and that makes my my crossing of cross lateral movements more efficient so I don't have to turn my entire body if I want to turn around I've got one more special trick for this one we're going to put the two chairs together and we're going to teach them how to fly like Superman. This is going to require a lot of upper body strength. You are going to encourage your little one to come and lie over the chair like this and just support them over here. Help them to lift up the upper body and the feet. So some of them might not be able to and they will obviously just start like this by putting their hands down and feet down. That's absolutely fine too. See if you can get them to wave at you one hand at a time, maybe lift up one foot at a time. And before you know it, we might be flying like Superman, just like this. Right parents, we know that in this unique time, some of our little ones might feel a little bit frustrated, maybe a little bit nervous and possibly a little bit scared. But remember, it's in our power to make them believe that they can be anything and anyone they want to be. So I am going to help you to um, challenge your little one to some superhero challenges by using just some cushions. So if I, for instance, have my cushions over here, I can pretend to do some superhero flyaways. I can do some superhero spins. So sit on your little cushion and see if we can encourage our little ones to just walk all the way around on their bottoms. This is actually quite hard work if you want to double up with them and try it with them. We can also see if we can go the other way. Can we spin the other way? Right, and if you feel really brave and you've got nice slippery floors, see if you can build up some speed and momentum and do a proper spin, woohoo, all the way on your bottom. And again, the other way, woohoo, all the way on the bottom. What a nice way to, clear, to clean the floorboards. Right. Another thing I can do with my little cushions is I can pretend to be a superhero that flies, just like we practice on the chairs. So this is really lovely for my back muscles um, and my upper body, my shoulders, and as well my lower back. So I'm going to see if I can lie all the way over the cushion. And from here, just like we did on a chair, it's a much nicer, easier way to start them off on their flying, first flying class school. First, see if you can get them to lift up one arm and one foot, the other arm and the other foot, and from here on, we can see if we can really encourage them to ah, lift up their thighs and really the upper backs so that they can fly all the way in the sky, just like this. Oh, we can even pretend that we're really flying. Where are we flying to? What do we see when we fly? There we go. Right. After the flying, we can see if we can do a little bit of stepping overs. I've got my two cushions here. We want to practice how to lift up my leg high enough so I can actually step over something. Right, this requires quite a little bit of motor planning. How high do I have to lift up my leg so I can see if I can step over without stepping, squashing or tripping over it. I can even see if I can go really fast. Really fast. How fast can I go over it? How fast? There we go. If that is too easy, I can see if I can leapfrog all the way over. Can I do a big leap like a superhero? So I'm going to see if I can take off from my left foot and land on my right foot. And I leap ha, like a superhero through there. Should I try one more time? This is a really tricky one for these little ones. You might want to make it a little bit closer, but if you can, you can also see if you can make it a bit higher. Can we encourage them to leap and fly a little bit higher? I'm going to see you ready, steady and fly Ooh, all the way over. Should I do one more time? One, two, three, leap and fly all the way over. There we go. I hope that gave you a few ideas of some few fun things that you can do with two cushions at home to help your little ones to feel really brave and for them to pretend that they are superheroes today. Hi everyone. I really hope you had a fun class with us today pretending to be all sorts of superheroes. I would like for us now to pay tribute to some of the real life superheroes that walks amongst us every day in the community. The key workers, the frontline workers, the amazing imported NHS staff. And we're gonna do this 
um, with a new poem that I've just learned from some of our community support groups. So why don't you clap along at home and follow with me. We'll go slowly the first round and then we'll speed it up the second round once you get the hang of it. Okay, are we ready? Teacher, teacher, what do you do? I teach you to read and to write too. Doctor, doctor, what do you do? I treat you when you're ill with a cold or the flu. Firefighter, firefighter, what do you do? I fight all the fires that might hurt you. Officer, officer, what do you do? I try to keep you safe in all that you do. Teacher, teacher, what do you do? I teach you to read and to write too. Doctor, doctor, what do you do? I treat you when you're ill with a cold or the flu. Firefighter, firefighter, what do you do? I take out all the fires that might hurt you. Officer, officer, what do you do? I keep you safe in all that you do. Thank you, everyone. This has been Marlene, and this has been The Little Gym at Home. Please stay safe. It's time to say goodbye.